The Royal Navy is in the midst of its most ambitious shipbuilding program in decades. On the banks of the River Clyde in Scotland, two brand new classes of frigates are being built simultaneously side by side in different shipyards. One is the Type 26, a warship of exquisite expense and specialization designed to be the best submarine hunter in the world. The other is the Type 31, a more affordable general purpose workhorse designed for mass production and export. Together, these two ships represent two different, almost conflicting ideas about the future of the Royal Navy. Their story is one of cost versus capability, specialization versus versatility, and it reveals the complex choices a modern Navy must make to balance its budget with its global ambitions. The Type 26, also known as the City Class or the Global Combat Ship, is the high-end thoroughbred. It is the direct replacement for the anti-submarine warfare variants of the aging Type 23 frigate. Everything about its design is optimized for one primary mission, hunting the most advanced enemy submarines in the world's most challenging environments. Its defining feature is its acoustics. The Type 26 is engineered to be exceptionally quiet, using a sophisticated combined diesel-electric, gas turbine, and electric drive propulsion system that allows it to glide silently through the water. It will be equipped with the world-leading Sonar 2007 Toad Array, making it a formidable underwater predator. In addition to its ASW prowess, the Type 26 is a heavily armed and capable warship. It features a vertical launch silo for Tomahawk land attack cruise missiles, giving it a long-range strike capability and another for Sea Scepter anti-air missiles. It has a five-inch main gun, a large flight deck, and a hangar for a Merlin or Wildcat helicopter, and a flexible mission bay that can carry drones, extra boats, or disaster relief supplies. The Type 26 is, by any measure, a first-rate warship. But all this capability comes at a staggering cost. The price tag for each of the planned eight Type 26 frigates is well over a billion pounds. This high cost is the reason the Royal Navy could not afford to replace the entire Type 23 fleet on a one-for-one -one basis. It needed a cheaper alternative. That alternative is the Type 31, also known as the Inspiration class. The Type 31 program was born out of a new national shipbuilding strategy that aimed to revive the UK's struggling shipbuilding industry by creating a more affordable and export-friendly warship. The goal was to build five of these frigates for a fixed price of just £250 million each, a fraction of the cost of a Type 26. To achieve this low price, the Type 31 is a very different ship. It is a general-purpose frigate designed to be a flexible and adaptable workhorse. Its primary roles will be maritime security, anti-piracy patrols, and presence missions around the world. The day-to-day, -day, less glamorous work that a Navy needs to do. While it is still a capable warship, armed with the Sea Scepter missile system and a 57 mm main gun, it lacks the advanced anti-submarine warfare capabilities and the long-range strike missiles of the Type 26. It is a less specialized, less densely armed, but far more affordable platform. The two classes of frigates represent a high-low mix strategy for the Royal Navy. The eight high-end Type 26s will be the capital ships of the escort fleet, tasked with the most demanding missions, such as protecting the UK's nuclear deterrent submarines and the aircraft carriers. 
The five lower-end Type 31s will be the workhorses, freeing up the more expensive Type 26s by taking on the routine patrol and presence tasks. This approach is a pragmatic response to the financial realities facing the Royal Navy. It acknowledges that not every mission requires a billion pound warship. By building a mix of high-end and general purpose frigates, the Navy can maintain a larger number of hulls in the water and meet its global commitments more efficiently. The shipbuilding process itself is also a tale of two different approaches. The Type 26 is being built by BAE Systems, the UK's traditional prime naval contractor using a well-established but costly process. The Type 31 is being built by Babcock, primarily a support and engineering company using a more modern, modular construction method designed to be faster and more cost-effective. The success of the Type 31 program is seen as a critical test for the future of British shipbuilding. The story of the Type 26 and Type 31 is the story of a Navy in transition. It is the story of a service grappling with the challenge of replacing its aging fleet in an era of tight budgets. It is a story of a new shipbuilding strategy designed to deliver ships faster and cheaper. Together, these two classes of frigate will form the backbone of the Royal Navy's surface fleet for decades to come. A balanced force of specialized hunters and versatile workhorses built on the Clyde to face the challenges of an uncertain world. For more analysis of the strategies and technologies shaping the world's navies, subscribe for more content.